There are many reasons that contribute to the success of any outstanding instrumental ensemble. One of those reasons can be attributed to the effective practice habits of its students. Many students believe that practice makes perfect, but it is more correct to say that perfect practice makes perfect. You will see results in your individual playing when you learn to apply and perfect the concept of effective individual practice. Practicing at home starts before you even start to play your first note. Start by preparing your practice area. Have a straight back chair and a music stand in your practice space. This will help you sit properly and have the correct posture to play your very best. Also, free your area from any distractions. Additionally, turn off the TV, turn off your phone, and any other device that would keep you from doing your best practicing. This will enable you to concentrate fully during your practice time. Do not eat or drink anything while you play. Food and drinks can be harmful to the inside of your instrument. If you ate prior to practicing, make sure you cleanse your mouth with water before you begin your practice session. Make sure your instrument is in good working condition. Brass instruments can check their slides and valves, while woodwind instruments can check the pads, keys, and the reeds. An instrument not working correctly keeps you from performing your best. If your instrument is not working, take it to the nearest instrument repair technician to have it fixed. Every practice session must have organization. Before starting your session, you need to map out the goals you want to accomplish. To truly know if you are getting better, you need to have measurable goals. It is also important to make goals that are easily attainable within your practice session. After setting your goals, you will concentrate on five areas during your practice session. The first section is breathing exercises. The second is long tones. The third section is scales and technique. The fourth is band music and etudes. And finally, the fifth is playing music that is fun and enjoyable. Air is the fuel source we use as musicians to produce a tone. You have to practice breathing so that you can stay relaxed while moving very large quantities of air. Spend one to two minutes on this section. The following are just a few examples of breathing exercises. Long tones help to properly warm up your embouchure and your instrument. As you play your long tones, listen to your sound with a critical ear. Evaluate if you are playing with a clear, characteristic tone quality. Play slowly and with a consistent, steady airstream. Just like an athlete needs to warm up their muscles, a musician needs to warm up to prepare their embouchure, their fingers, and their breath for the upcoming sections of their practice sessions. Spend one to two minutes on this section. Don't jump right into the piece you want to work on. Warm up with a series of scales and other warm up exercises. Review what you know and improve on what you don't. Spend seven to 10 minutes on this section.
Next is band music and etudes. This is the main part of your practice session. Spend up to 20 minutes on this section. When you start a new selection of music, run through the piece once, pausing to circle your mistakes with a pencil. Start at the beginning and work slowly forward. Be aware of your mistakes and go back and correct them. Make sure you're focusing on your mistakes. Just don't practice the parts you know. You want to see your playing get progressively better and that will only happen when you work out the mistakes in your music. Even if you can think you can play the section faster, start slowly. Use a metronome to practice difficult passages. Start with a slow metronome tempo on anything you can't play well. Increase the metronome beat as you achieve each tempo level. The concept of additive practice is playing a passage slowly until you get it right and then gradually increasing the tempo until you reach your target speed. After the problematic areas have shaped up, go back to the beginning of the piece and play through it, keeping an eye out for measures you've worked on previously. At the end of your practice session, go back to the beginning of the piece and play it straight through for enjoyment. The difficult sections will play out better and will give you a sense of accomplishment. End your practice session with something fun. That could be a book of pop or movie themes or something from your band class. How long should you practice? For beginners to one year experience, 20 to 30 minutes a day, five sessions a week. Two to three years of playing experience, 30 to 45 minutes a day, five sessions a week. For players with four to five years of playing experience, 45 to 60 minutes a day, five to six sessions a week. The length of time and how many sessions a week will be dependent on the age and playing experience of the student. The important thing to remember is that if you practice efficiently and consistently, you will get better.